Hi, it's Werner from Koitec. In today's tutorial, we'll show you how to measure the power consumption of a Samsung S7 phone using the Oti Arc. Today's phones are highly integrated, high performance devices with peak current consumption of several amps, requiring custom batteries with protection circuitry built in. The first step is to open the phone. There are some excellent uh, guides how to do this. We recommend the iFixit step-by-step uh, tutorial that we have linked below. Remember before tearing into the device that uh, all warranties are void and you need to buy a new back cover and a new battery if you want the device to resemble the original state that you got it in. So cable length from the battery to the circuit board is very short. Uh, when we connect an external power supply, we'll have longer cables and need to compensate for this by adding some low ESR capacitors close to the phone. In this case, we've added five 100 microfarad ceramic capacitors. If we don't have enough capacitance, the phone may fail to boot. As the batteries typically contain electronics that will monitor temperature and excessive current, it's best to reuse this and simply remove the battery cell and keep the protective circuitry uh, intact. That also means that you will have the custom flex connector here that's very very difficult to source. Just connecting this to the phone like that. Flip it over. So let's power it on here. And wait for it to boot and we can we can see here that we're getting some very very large peaks we have a peak of 3.22 amps during uh, boot uh, which means that i cannot simply power the um, arc with the usb cable i need an external dc adapter for this to work so now that the um, phone has powered up we'll start the camera and one of the more high current use cases that uh, you can actually do is have the photo flash on and do video recording. And when we start the video recording here and wait for the uh, current consumption to reach steady state, we will be able to see just how much current this actually consumes. and it's an average of 1.24 amps which means that with a 3000 milliamp hour battery you will just barely manage to do two hours of recording before that's completely flat thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more discussion on energy optimization visit our forum linked below